I did my getting started class the other day and I had a really interesting question come up. The person wanted to create elevations of the kitchen, but not anything else and just the cupboards in the kitchen. So if we have a look at this in 3D, there's my kitchen. So I've got a unit here. I'll just select all these units. Easiest would be to use this tool here. Let's just select all my cabinets. And I also want to select my countertop as well. Just make sure I get my countertop. There it is. So the question is, how do we create some elevations of this object or of this, these, just these things? Now I could put them all in a class. I could put them in a group and try and do that, but it won't create the viewport. Now I could set up a bunch of sections that would also work, but a really quick way is to use this technique. View, show selected objects only. So view on the menu bar, create multiple viewports. I want to have a top, a front, top, right, and an isometric. And I'll scale of 1 to 25. Now if I had some styles that I could use, that would be really cool. So if I had a viewport style, that would be even quicker. I don't have one so that it's suitable, so I'm just going to OK that. So what I should have now is a plan. There's my plan there. I should have an elevation. I'm going to put the elevation there and a side view. So what we would be best to do maybe is to rotate this. I'm just going to rotate that a few times. So I've got the, the plan that and we've got the elevation. Uh, let's put that one down there. Let's put this one up here and that should give us my third angle projection. And what I could do is select both of these. Right click and I want to choose a line and a line left. So now those two line up. I want to select this one and that one. And we're going to go to a line and we're going to align their bottoms. Fantastic. Look at that. And let's put that one over here. So now what I want to have is I want that to be a plan view. I want this to be an elevation. And if I just select them all, update, we'll see what we've got. Now it's going to be a good idea to change the graphic style of these to make sure that it's suitable. Probably a hidden line render would be the best thing for these. But that way I don't see all the dashed lines inside the boxes. Now this is really quick to set up and I end up with just the things that I want. Nothing else. So this is a really cool trick and it's to do with the visibility and the changes to visibility in Vectorworks 2025. So it is a fantastic technique. Hey, thanks for watching. This was a little segment from my getting started class. It was a really cool technique. I just wanted to cover it in detail, but I'll put the link in the description.